Hello, this is Alessio. Today is Friday, the 2nd of July. And this is a weekly report for the best performing charts of the week. So let's start with the first one, which is CDNA, CareDX. The old chart is from June 29th. And as you can see, we're basically expecting a wave four of one degree to, to step in anytime soon after we could count five ways to the upside into wave three. So we we are starting to get a reaction to the downside, which makes us believe that is the four wave in common, not com perhaps it's not completed yet. And uh, well, you know, we are sh a little bit shy of the one point six one eight the expansion of wave three compared to wave one. So of course one point six one eight is a very common target for wave three. We're a little bit shy of that. But uh, there's still the, the five ways can be counted without any rule violation. And uh, most likely we, we just had the A of the four. Now we know that the four can be many things, can be complex, can be a triangle, can, can kind of get a little bit complicated, a little bit sideways. But uh, it looks like we did have some sign that the four is on its way. So. If you move on to the next one, which is CrowdStrike. So the old chart is from June 24th. And I was basically expecting further upside into this way three of minute degree. And uh, if we look at the chart now, we can see how we, we did get the, the upside we wanted. But we also are starting to get some kind of pullback. Now, what is interesting is if we look closely, we can count five ways up. We can count one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, it's possible. Um, it would be an extended first, and then three, four, and five. So that could be the, the three. If we measure it, if we measure the three, Compared to the one, we see how it's a little bit over equality, so it's a little bit longer. But it also makes sense because remember, if if this is the four on its way, we are now waiting for wave five to complete the wave three. So of course, possible wave three would be. Possibly 1.628 times longer, if not more. So once again, if we try to measure that, we want to measure wave three. Yeah, 1.628 will be right here. So pretty much spot on. So let's let's look for 270 dollars, 270 dollars as a potential resistance zone. So this pullback could be bought. Confirm validation level will be done here. This pullback could be bought to try to serve wave five. And after that, you know, it'll be a very short trade, short term trade, possibly get out and get in back into wave four. So that's that's just an idea I'm throwing out there. But uh, yeah, it looks good. And if we do see some resistance at 270, there'll be even more interesting as it, it would end the confirmation since it'll be an important Fibonacci um, target. So once again, if you move on to the next one, which is fate, the old chart is from June 29th. It's back to you know, after a push up, label this one, we had three is down in two, and we're expecting for their upside, which as you can see, you can see clearly from my screen, we had. So now what, what is interesting about this is, is that if I take you to the hourly, okay, we can see how we had one, two, and three. It was one, two, three, four, five to make A, B, and C. And wave C was 61.8 times longer, so it was actually shorter than wave uh, A. 
and here we can count five ways up one two three four five a b c so it looks like the upside should be there and uh, yeah it's uh the pullbacks could be bought as long as they're in three of course but yeah just wanted to show in the alley just to show you you know how usually i mean how at times fibonacci uh, relationships can be quite useful and powerful as well so yeah not really much more to say for their upside we should see within the next days next one is hdb which is hd sc bank so we were expecting a year further downside and this our story is from june 29th we're expecting further downside to come into wave minute wave two because this could at least i labeled this as a as a leading diagonal into wave one so actually we are starting to have the downside um of course we can't break this low at 70 i sorry 67 7. but uh i mean there shouldn't be much more room to go i would like to see some kind of maybe another move up and down and then we'd like to see some sort of reversal to the to the upside uh, otherwise the count will start to be compromised and we have to label this as a this is B and then down into wave C. Is it possible? Yes. But uh, for, for this stage, I'll, I'd like to stay to stick to this count. And the next one is Spotify. The old chart is from June 23rd. And uh, no, we're sp after a shy, I have to say a shy move up in one and two, I was expecting for their upside to come into wave three. Of course, as I said, the push, was, the push was very shy, so it was very risky. However, it looks like we have been rewarded because the forecast was pretty pretty spot on. The one, two, and then one, two. Possibly now we've made the three and the four. So the upside should be there. We should start to extend higher. And as, you know, as long as you see the pullback being three, to the downside, of course, they can be bought. If we break the, the previous B point, there will be even additional confirmation. So yeah, let's just wait for that. But it, it's looking it's really nice. That's that's all I that's all I can say. Finally, last but not least, is UPS. Uh, after a strong push up was was predicted, after the triangle was predicted with members, um, we we had possibly five ways down into wave A. So now we're expecting three ways up into wave B. We are starting to have further upside. So now what it's important to look for is the 52-61% of FIB retracement of the move down into wave A, and that comes around here. So we'll look what's gonna happen in the next train section. So today and perhaps Monday and Tuesday, and we'll see, of course, if we break north of 220, then the count, of course, is invalidated and I have to look at this as just an ABC. But we, we'll look for it. We'll uh, I'll pay attention to it. But as for now, um, it still looks like this is possibly wave A. So that was, that was it for me today. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.